Hey Geminis, welcome back to Pure Black Magic, emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. This is your January 2023 energy reading update. Okay, so for Gemini placements, wherever you have it in your chart, uh, this is for you. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. Very general messages, you guys, for the Gemini collective. So please take what you feel as if intuitively resonates for you. Leave what is not for the next person. Um, so Gemini, we are going to be diving into some oracle messages for you guys just to see what spirit wants you to know. Give you a little bit of a heads up slash confirmation on January energy. Um, and then we're going to break down a spread for your uh, finances and career, overall stability, as well as another spread for your personal relationships and romance, Gemini. So let's see what's showing up for you guys from the Moonology Oracle deck. Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Geminis. If you find yourself liking this content, you guys, please go ahead and actually like the video. Leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel for future readings. Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Geminis. What is it that they are needing to know for the month of January 2023? All right, so we have work through your fears, Gemini. Scorpio energy, uh, believe in the impossible, Okay. Um, branching out, breaking out is what I'm hearing, breaking free, okay, stepping out of your comfort zone, and conclusions are within reach. So if you're trying to find a way to do something, um, if you're trying to get some sort of resources to do something, uh, confidence, money, whatever it is, I feel like it's very much so obtainable for you, Gemini, uh, but there's just a, a, feels like there's a need for you to have um, a little bit more faith in yourself or a little bit more faith in a particular situation or desired outcome, okay? Um, and I feel like some Something's aligning for you or it's like a pathway is being created for you to get wherever you're trying to go or achieve a goal here or manifest whatever this is. And then we have luck is on your side, uh, Sagittarius energy. So something about the new moon, um, our next new moon could be significant here. Maybe a new opportunity or new phase, a new step, um, a new something is showing up for you, but it's very favorable energy, Gemini showing up here. So... I feel like you guys are off to a good positive start um, to the new year. Happy new year. So let's see. Clarity confirmation. Let's get some guidance from the wisdom oracle. See what it is spirit is wanting you to know. Okay. Clarity confirmation. Holy Spirit for my Gemini's month of January 2023. Oh, I was quick. Okay. So no place like home. Um, and again, this is giving me like familiar energy. Let's see where it's going. Yeah. Come to the edge. Okay. It's something about you not like going back to like what's comfortable, what's familiar, what feels safe. Okay. What feels safe to the point where it's just like stunting your growth here. Um, come to the edge. Let's see. And we have deep knowing. And I feel like it's like, I feel like you know, like there's time for some sort of major change, time for you to release something, um, time for you to follow some sort of calling is also what I'm getting here for you, Gemini. Okay. I feel like you're very close to something. It's like you're moving out of a comfortable space or what feels familiar, but you're, but you're moving into like another energy or whatever this is, that's just a better fit for you. Um, or you may be surprised at like, ha if you're more open to receiving something different, something new, exploring your options, I feel like you may be surprised how well you do at something or how good something goes for you or how comfortable you really feel or how much you've been kind of like really holding yourself back in certain areas of your life, Gemini. Um, yeah, because we have fork in the road here. So you could be contemplating making some sort of decision or again, you're trying to figure something out. Maybe you don't have all the answers, all the tools, all the resources here. Um, it feels like wherever you're at now or there's some sort of energy that has you feeling conflicted here. Um, and I feel like that's a telltale sign that, you know, something needs to change, something needs to go um, in order for you to grow Gemini. Let's see what else comes out mending okay regeneration and buy the book yeah something here just takes a little time you could be um like learning a new skill starting a new job or restarting something you know rededicating yourself to a particular goal or something like that 
Um, and I, I feel like it's going to be very successful for you, but it's like spirit is trying to push you in a certain direction here. So definitely, you know, listen to your intuition. Try not to overthink things, overanalyze or, you know, overly focus on like the future or a possible outcome here. Okay. We have, yeah, higher power, um, soulmates, peace and chop wood now i do feel like too some of you guys are feeling conflicted in terms of like a relationship especially with mending here and the soulmates card um it could be romantic it could be platonic or it could just be your relationship with like something um and i feel like it's a lot of back and forth or there's been a lot of back and forth okay um, or just indecision here. And I feel like you're getting your answer, okay? The answers you seek are coming um, in January 2020 in regards to, like, how things are going to go, what you need to do, yes or no. Like, the answers are coming here. So, uh, give yourself some time. Give yourself to the end of January. And even if you need a little bit more time than that, give yourself to some time or give the universe some time to kind of, like, show you the direction that you need to go. But you do need to be open to receiving, okay? You do, you do need to have faith and fully believe in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest here in order for it to work. Um, so let's go ahead and hop right into your personal relationships, okay? Your love life, personal relationships. Uh, this is the Lover's Love Oracle, Gemini. Let's see what's showing up for you in the month of January. Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit. And then we'll pull some advice, okay, from the tarot. Clarity, confirmation, what's showing up for Gemini? Personal relationships, romantic or platonic. All right. So we have the snake, we have the golden mirror, and we have the chaser. Okay. Um, it's giving a little bit of toxic energy, Gemini. Then we have girl talk here. So... The snake says, um, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Okay, this could have been someone in your life, or this could have been this could be you, Gemini, or could have been you vibrating out of this low um vib uh low energy, excuse me. And then we have the golden mirror says self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Yeah, this is you or somebody else here, Gemini. Somebody could be very codependent or like really clinging on to you or you clinging on to them or um, let's see. And then we have the chaser. Um, chaser and co yeah, chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. So Gemini okay this is you or this is someone else especially with the golden mirror for some of you guys this could be you I feel like you're being um called to or triggered to kind of like uh work on your shadow self do some sort of shadow work here Gemini something about taking a look in the mirror or realizing that you are you you okay or somebody around you may be causing some sort of conflict here or um toxic energy or reaction like somebody's energy is, is not stable showing up here gemini or the intentions are off or um it, it could be a, like a deeply rooted need for healing for whoever this person is okay because it kind of feels like somebody is just projecting onto another person or like um yeah trying to hold on to something that's not good for them or this is like a not balanced person okay I, i'm not gonna say like this person is no good but um something's off here with whoever this is gemini we have a girl talk it says time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so yeah someone here i mean is awakening to this someone here is moving on someone here is trying to detach from whatever this um back and forth energy is codependent codependent energy is um, and it could be you, okay, or somebody is viewing you as this low vibrational gem, uh, energy Gemini, and they could be, you know, trying to move away from you. So let's see. Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Geminis. What advice do you have for them in terms of love and personal relationships? What advice, clarity? Tell us more. Let's see, Spirit, clarity, confirmation. Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands. I'm going to put it back one second. Um, Nine of Swords is your energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I just saw the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, it's like somebody here is, is the energy is so worried or so, um, so like, I'm even getting maybe like insecure or like trust issues. Like the energy here is, 
it needs somebody needs like some sort of healing or balance or groundedness here um because i feel like somebody could be acting out of like fear or trauma that's what it feels like uh acting or reacting out of fear or trauma or they just don't really have a hold over their own thoughts or emotions or something like that um or something about like a connection is worrying somebody here uh gemini so let's see Clarity confirmation with the four of wands and the nine of swords. I feel like the advice is to address um, the mental and emotional issues here, Gemini, whether this is you, okay, or somebody else needing to do this, you know, in regards to you, if it's a cross washer, clarity confirmation. Yeah, look at this five of wands. So this could be internal or external conflicts. All right. This is a fight. Um, this is a fight that could have happened in the past or somebody's in a fight with themselves or a battle with themselves or somebody, you know, made some not so good decisions in the past here when it comes to love or connection with you, Gemini, um, or this is you. Four of Cups, I feel like you, somebody here is like very like fed up about something or somebody here is dwelling on a missed opportunity or it's something here. I feel like someone is in a battle with themselves. Um, and we have the Queen of Swords, okay? I feel like, Gemini, this is you. So you could be cutting, you could be like really establishing some sort of boundaries or cutting someone off in the month of January or somebody's cutting you off. Again, um, another air sign could be significant or you could have like double air um, in your chart, in your top three or something like that, Gemini. Um, but you're here. Okay, Queen of Swords is your energy, and then the Lover's card is Gemini energy in the back of this card. Um, and I feel like somebody here is just like maybe they're not expressing themselves properly, or it's some sort of like issues here that need to be um addressed or healing that needs to be addressed here, Gemini. Let's see. Yeah, the three of pentacles, and it's actually in the reverse. Let me see. Um, y'all know I like to start all my cards upright and I Call myself double checking before I started your reading. So it's meant to be for this three of pentacles to be in a reverse. And the world card is in a reverse too as well. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify what the three of pentacles in a reverse is. And we have the six of cups. Something's not working out, okay? Or somebody's like causing something to not work. Um, or somebody could be trying to force something to not work. Somebody is so worried about like being vulnerable or being like taken advantage of or it's like someone's picking a fight or picking multiple fights with you gemini or this is you doing this with somebody else um and again this could be romantic or like any type of platonic uh relationship some of you guys there could this could be in a workplace okay clarity confirmation what's this three of pentacles in the reverse for my gemini's all right so the page of swords the two of cups in reverse okay so it's a couple of cards and then look at the cards that are in a reverse like the three of pentacles upright is a very positive energy collaborating working together um uh, really good energy the two of cups upright is a really good energy it's mutual energy it's alignment it's a, it's a couple like really good energy but page of swords two of cups in a, somebody's guard is too guarded or somebody just doesn't trust somebody um Somebody could be trying to force something that's just like, or go about a particular uh, relationship in a very, like, from a very hurt or toxic space here. The Four of Pentacles is definitely giving codependent. Temperance card, um, the Empress, the Will of Fortune, um, or somebody just doesn't. Somebody could, like, somebody's expecting the worst. So, therefore, they're creating the words. You or someone else, Gemini, in your life. What's the five of wands? What's the five of wands? The seven of wands. The star card. Seven of wands in reverse. The star card. Aquarius energy could be significant. Um, and the page of cups. Or somebody is struggling with, with letting them what letting their guard down or something is like it's like very conditional or it has to be like their way. Um or somebody's just afraid of like I don't know, Gemini. Like, let's see what the four of cups is. 
or there's something in the past that's relevant like there's some sort of history you've had with this person okay um or somebody there could be insecurities um or envy or jealousy surrounding whoever this is gemini because the star card energy somebody could be you know in the spotlight or um there's something about this person maybe they get a lot of attention or something like that like somebody um may be intimidated by you or you by someone else or it's like may th maybe thinking a, a connection is too good to be true or something like that what's the four of cups what's the four of cups the three of cups or somebody's like regretting something too. Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles, um, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody is not good at like, ex somebody needs to learn how to communicate, like expressing themselves. The Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, or somebody is like always on guard, always waiting for like somebody to like do something to them, like some victim mentality here, Gemini. What's the Queen of Swords? Somebody could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart. Um, what's the what's the Queen of Swords? Let's see. Yeah, the Temperance card, Sagittarius, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody might be giving up on someone, okay? Um, or just distancing themselves, you know, from someone, loving somebody from a distance, because somebody here is just going through something very heavy mentally, emotionally. I don't know if it's been for some time now or um if this is just something that's just happening in the month of january something that's just you know sprung on and then the queen of wands yeah or somebody doesn't feel good enough for someone else or they just feel smaller inferior in your presence gemini um or vice versa king of pentacles yeah earth sign energy the magician moon card ace of wands hyper like somebody's trying to play some sort of games here or somebody is being very like um selfish or like egotistical or some somebody somebody play too many games gemini i'm gonna leave it at that okay so um hopefully this is not you it could be you or somebody in your energy but i feel like y'all putting an end to it like if this is somebody coming towards you okay um so let's go ahead and look into your overall stability career and finances let's see what's ahead Clarity confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Geminis. Well, I feel like too, with that, you know, personal relationship uh part of the reading, Gemini, like Spirit is guiding you to en enable some sort of boundaries or make sure that you're not enabling somebody's like fucked up behavior. Like clarity confirmation. Yeah, positive movement forward was the card. Look at this. Positive movement forward and moving on. Okay, so or somebody's just taking too long to like get it together or they're just not you know on the, on the same vibration um the mentality is not the same something like that um but in terms of your finances career okay overall stability what's to come for my gemini spirit patience and planning okay power and emotional losses here what's at the bottom wisdom okay um the waiting game let me see Taurus energy, Leo energy could be significant as well. Um, your third eye chakra, harmony. Okay, some of y'all could be like working on something behind the scenes, like working on some sort of project or business or planning on transitioning from one job to the next or one career to the next. Um, And rest and rejuvenation or something here is going to take time something might not happen for you like right now gemini or it might not be taken off right now but i feel like spirit does not want you to get discouraged okay so try to stay grounded as long as you're being you know productive um and whatever the goal is you're actively working towards that on a daily basis uh, i feel like it'll come in for you but i, I see like you may um you may feel a little discouraged discouraged here gemini okay so let's see let's pull the tarot see what else comes out or you may like it's like you may not get a certain position that you want or something may not exactly be happening for you right now that's what i keep getting 
Um, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to prosper. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen, Gemini. So, you know, just be um, aware of your thoughts, etc. Keep the energy high vibrating. Um, so let's see. Clarity confirmation of the spirit for my Geminis in terms of finances and career. For January, what is it that they need to know, spirit? The Ten of Cups is here. Okay. Hold on one second, Gemini. Oh, actually, I don't want to use this deck. I'm sorry. I want to use um the light seers. All right, and the two of wands. Yeah, some of you guys are like leaving. Um, you're either planning on, you know, whatever it is to like leave a job or transition or something like that, or you're doing it in the month of January. Clarity confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Gemini's. What is it that they need to know? Finances and career. The Ten of Pentacles, the Devil card. Yeah, I'm telling. I'm trying to tell you the Ten of Swords. Tens represent completions here, but I feel like. Um, mm, let me see what this Devil card is, because I feel like this is something. The Ten of Pentacles is like it creates stability for you. Maybe you've been working. Um, at a job for some time or you've been working on something for some time but you may be obsessing over uh the energy you may be obsessing over like what's next or how to break free from it or you feel like something's blocking you okay or keeping you bound okay um or you feel like your finances are, are blocked or keeping you bound some of you guys uh something about spending overspending somebody could have like you know a problem with like overspending or spending on certain things that aren't necessary that aren't necessary because the devil card is you know addictions obsessions here um and ten of swords but whatever this energy is i feel like you guys are walking away from it Ooh, and you got the eight of cups walking away okay um from the two of cups yeah the moon card the judgment card the ten of cups it's like there's something about a calling or a new direction that you're taking in terms of your money or career or spirit is guiding you to do so in order for you to be happy um some of you guys have been like doing something for work that like makes other people happy or it looks good or you know it makes a decent amount of money or it's just safe and secure because of whatever reasons you know um but it's not emotionally fulfilling so i feel like you're walking away from whatever that is and walking into something emotionally fulfilling what's the ten of pentacles the page of wands the king of pentacles the ace of wands yeah, I feel like you guys, um, maybe there's an idea in mind or you're trying to think of a creative idea or a business project or something like that. Um, it's like you're trying to, you're trying to, um, attract more, okay, financial stability or just overall stability here. Some of y'all could be like, somebody could be leaving, um, leaving a family, a family home, a marriage or something like that too. I feel like that's popping up here. Hermit card, Virgo could be significant. World card, the emperor, the star card. I do feel like too, like someone here, you know, really fantasizes about and thinks a lot about um, being in a better financial position or doing something that they love or getting some sort of idea off the ground, but there's a need to actually do it. Gemini, take action. What's the devil card? Break free from whatever's holding you back, even if it's just, you know, your own thoughts. Yeah, like, don't be afraid of, like, um, you have to try in order to see how things will work out for you, Gemini. The moon card, cancer energy could be significant, two of cups, um, and the lovers. Or it's like you're stressing because it's like you can't figure out what is your thing or what it is you can do or what the next steps are to achieve some sort of stability or whatever this is in terms of, like, work or money or, or something here um what's the ten of swords and maybe you guys are figuring that out or you're getting you're getting out of your own way there's some sort of uh breakthrough here that's happening what's the ten of swords if you take advantage of the opportunities that are coming your way gemini what's the ten of swords the ace of pentacles the queen of cups and a star card yeah a lot of y'all are is maybe this is an offer that's already here or it's coming in but a lot of you guys are turning down or walking away from an offer um that it 
that no longer serves you. It's like you're walking away from this to serve a higher purpose here. Like this could be a dream job coming in, something that, you know, pays well and you're happy to do it. Uh, something about Aquarius season could be significant. The end of January going into February, this transition could be happening here, but it's very favorable energy that's on the way. So if you're stressing about something in particular tied to your stability and finances, um, as long as you are doing what you need to do, Gemini, like there's hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel is coming for you guys towards the end of the month. It feels like, yeah, it's a commitment, higher faint or something with your spirituality, something with the upgraded position here. Um, and then Taurus energy as well. Okay. So you're defeating whatever this is that seems to kind of have a hold over you in terms of your finances and stability. So I'm gonna leave it here, Gemini. If you like this message and you would like a private reading, you can find that information in the description box below. Uh, you can also find the link to my patreon if you want to tap into the the exclusive content that i upload um on there but other than that i love you guys and i will talk to you next time